am I? What is my purpose? Ever came across these questions? Because I surely did. And that too a lot of times. Every mind possesses that curiosity to discover who they are and where they belong. Dr. Haim Janot once said, the search for personal identity is the life task of a teenager. During the teenage phase, we experience so many rapid changes, a roller coaster of emotions, so many opportunities, so many situations. It's a lot of everything. To sum up, it's the phase of choices, chances, and changes. But what's essential is to know what your choices and chances are and how will they change your life. Now, let me take you on a journey of how I started discovering myself. As a young girl, I had always struggled with my sense of identity. I didn't know who I was or what I wanted to do with my life, and as a result, I often felt lost and uncertain. I clearly remember the calendar dated 25th May 2020, the day I turned 14 and my first ever birthday spent in lockdown. I spent quality time with my parents, FaceTime my friends, and even ate a delicious chocolate cake with those little gems on it, which my mother had specially prepared for me. God, that was delicious. Anyways, overall, it was better than what I had expected. It was way past midnight, nearly 3 a.m. in the morning, when I had woken up from my sleep to quench my thirst, but instead headed towards the swing in my balcony because the moon that was glistening over the night sky looked too stunning and irresistible to miss. The soft creak of the swing as it rocked back and forth was creating a gentle rhythm that was soothing to the soul. I was laying my head over the, on the armrest when listening to my daily playlist, when it hit me that now is the time I should take control of my life. We know the 3 a.m. talks with yourself always hit different, feel different. I knew that building my identity would be a journey and a tough one, to be honest, but I was ready to take the first step. Since that day, I started taking out time for myself. I set aside at least 15 minutes to get to know myself better. The first thing I did was explore my interests and passion. I started to think about what I enjoyed and what I didn't. My mother had enrolled me into music classes when I was nearly six. Gradually, while learning, I found out that I had a strong aptitude for singing. I tried a variety of different activities, from sports to music to volunteering, and realized that learning new instruments, creating original compositions, and also helping others through volunteering truly instilled in me a sense of fulfillment. Thus, the first step is to unfold Unfold your potential and discover your interests. Watch the surroundings around you. They are full of opportunities. Don't let them go away. Grab the opportunities you want to achieve because as they say, opportunity knocks at the door, but once. Thus by unfolding, one can find out their strengths and weaknesses. Next, I started to think about my values and what was important to me. It was August of 22, when I had started my service as a volunteer teacher at Nav Prerna. The students of junior and senior were under our care. At first, it seemed quite strenuous for me, as with it, I had also taken up a lot of other activities, and some of which I didn't wish to, and subsequently, due to shortage of time, I could not give justice to all of them, and to myself too, which made me feel helpless and upset with myself. To build my identity, it was important not to live for the expectations of others and for the approval of others, but for the happiness of within. Thus, it was time to reevaluate my priorities. So I began to pursue my passion and interest rather than just trying to meet the expectations of others. Delving deeper into my own identity, I realized and I started to make choices that made me feel like myself such as imparting education to underprivileged children, actively participating in different singing contests, and also submitting my hypothesis for the enrollment in this TEDED club. I stopped trying to be what other people wanted me to be and started to follow my own path, and even began to surround myself with people who shared my values and supported me in my journey. 
Emotions are the fuel that drives human experience. They give us the ability to love, to feel compassion, to experience joy, and to connect with others. But they can also lead to suffering if we don't learn how to manage them effectively. Thus, the second step is to unroll. Unroll your emotions and categorize your priorities. Unrolling your emotions can be a helpful way in gaining, gaining clarity and focus in your goals, and they can also help you stay motivated and on track as you work towards achieving them. Who we are is not fixed. It is always in the process, and we have the power to shape it. And clarity of emotion, my friends, have the, is the tool that shapes it. If we fail in doing so, we end up being lost, confused, and exhausted at every single step of life. Thus, it is important to unroll your emotions. Lastly, I comprehended that to be happy and fulfilled from within, I needed a platform, a platform that would help me grow, a platform that would mark my success, and a platform that would identify who I was. During the lockdown, everything seemed to freeze. But in that freezing cold, I found BTS, a boy band who became my warm blanket. They pushed me towards my own journey of self-discovery and resolution rather than just handling it to me on a platter. They helped me know the part of myself I never thought existed, the part that never gave up. I knew my interest and my passion, which was to co pursue career in singing, but what was I doing for that? Merely wishing for it wasn't enough. Many months after I got into BTS, their lyrics and music helped me and inspired me to build a platform for myself. So I opened up a singing account on social media and wherein I started to post song covers. Once physical schooling started, I started participating in events, especially those of singing, and even received a lot of appreciation. Over the years from being shy and of compromising nature, I've emerged to be confident and persistent, and I'm on the voyage of self-discovery. Overall, through this process, by unfolding, unrolling, and unraveling, I found out my passion, I found out my purpose, and even started to learn to embrace my unique qualities. I slowly but surely began to build a strong sense of identity. Thus, the third step is to unravel. Unraveling here means to successfully give a platform to your ambitions. Once you're aware of your passion and you're firm about it, you need to build a platform for it. Well, now comes the question, how do you do that? Being positive, even in the grimmest of times, can help you find a way out. So whenever you feel that you're stuck at a point when you can just see darkness in the tunnel, remember that there's always light at the other end of it. Try to recall why you unfolded your potential. It was to give them that platform. This made me realize how important it was to build and to blend productivity, positivity, and possibilities together and be me, not them. Giving this talk requires a lot of strength, confidence, and stepping out of your comfort zone because, trust me, speaking in front of an audience is not something I've done before. But here I am because I took a small step by enrolling myself in this club. I'm trying to unfold my potential of public speaking, unrolling my emotions whether I feel contented or not, which I definitely do, and thereby unraveling and giving my thoughts and ideas a platform because I am on my way to build my identity. So unfold your potential, unravel the situation, and unroll them until you are on a roll. Thank you so much.